Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome along to the Seria panel uh, between Seria and Camera. It's so nice to have you with us. Thanks for having us here at Soccer X. It's great to see you all. Uh, I just want to introduce this fantastic panel that I have alongside me because it is quite the lineup. As you can see, uh, Matteo Menardi, CFO of Camera, Seria. Uh, CMO Michele Ciccarese, uh, Jeff Van Dusen, CEO of United Soccer Coaches and President of Serie A USA, Andy Mitchell, and uh, the man that needs no introduction, <laughs> but I'll give him one anyway, Italian legend Alessandro Del Piero. Alessandro, welcome to Miami. Thank you very much for the yeah. you. <laughs> woo, woo. How was your travels here? It was good, it was good. Second home for you. I know you lived in Los Angeles for quite a while. Uh, so now here in Miami, for all of you fans out there, this soccer ball is going to be signed later on by yeah. Del Piero. Uh, and so make sure you stay around for that. And he'll also be signing autographs over at the Serie A uh, booth as well. Let's get started, though, shall we? Because we've got so much to talk about with that, this exciting partnership between Serie A and Kama and Michele, I'd like to start with you really to just explain to us the partnership and, and how this all came about. Thank you, Poppy. It looks like a CBS show on <laughs> every single Sunday about Serie A and it's <laughs> great to be here with you. So I will take a quick step back about why we are here and what we are doing and what is the job that the team is doing in America with Andy Mitchell and everyone. And of course, I know that this crowd is here. Ciao, Marco. This crowd is here especially for Alex, that has written a page of Italian soccer and calcio. But what is more important for us is to explain to the audience here at SoccerX the path that brought Serie A here with this new strategy of Serie A made in Italy. And I think that, Poppy, it will be easier for all the audience to see a video first, and then we go to the partnership with Kama. Let's do it. The IBC in Lisone is a wonder of Italian technology, built in just four months. It's the state-of-the-art production house that provides all content of Lega Serie A as a new media company. Felipe Anderson trova Luis Alberto! Eccolo il colpo del mago! All matches are broadcast for television in ultra-high definition 4K Full HD. Live production includes Steadicam and Gimbal for cinematographic shooting and additional cameras with innovative points of view, such as the acrobatic drone, the rail camera, and game camera drone. To guarantee a complete, immersive experience. The IBC provides centralized graphics for all broadcasters in several languages. Personalized virtual LEDs for the 20 Serie A teams with five different feeds in Italy, Europe, Asia, Middle East and North Africa and the Americas. The IBC's technology includes event data tracking plus IM coach analysis and a centralized platform for in-depth analysis available for coaches. International magazine shows on Serie A. An innovative VAR center containing eight VAR rooms and a position for the supervisor dubbed the best in the world by Italian match officials and semi-automatic offside technology for real-time offside VAR decisions. The optical tracking system, 12 cameras in use at each stadium, uses advanced image processing and machine learning to instantly and accurately track the players and the ball across the whole pitch. The ball and 29 skeletal points are tracked on each player with ultra-low latency, and offside lines drawn within 0.5 seconds integrated seamlessly within the VAR system. Three MCRs, a centralized quality control for the multilateral program feed for colorimetric coherence on all matches. Anti-piracy and content protection focus through global monitoring on IPTV, websites, apps, social platforms, and a due diligence activity on the broadcasters and the new dynamic blocking in Italy integrated with cybersecurity and digital platform watermarking. 24 workstations to create automated and personalized highlights packages. 16 commentary boots for Italian, English, and Arabic commentators. Duram, Destro! And scoring a 
Beauty. Are you having a butterfly? I'm in my restaurant. A social media department managing 22 accounts in eight different languages. With more than 9 million subscribers to Serie A's YouTube channel, a record for football leagues around the world. The IBC in Lisoni is at the cutting edge of technology. The future here has already begun. So, Poppy, quite a long video, but with one objective. To say that if we, three years ago, we started a full reshuffle strategy of Serie A and we started investing on the product in order to deliver to you at CBS, to all our 63 broadcasters in 203 countries in the world, a better product. And in order to do that, it's so important to create club advisory services, more data and technology for all our clubs, and work in all over the world with legends like Alessandro to say what we are doing and to deliver this kind of message. The partnership with Kama Sport is one of these. So the real message that we want to deliver today with Kama is that Kama is an Italian startup Fully made in Italy. We started working together three years ago. The guys had a, an idea to deliver to all the coach in Italy and to all the, the clubs a real-time analysis of the game with near live videos, images, and repository. We started doing that. It's been so appreciated by all the clubs. We're giving this not only to Juventus, say, Milan, Inter, that they already used to have this kind of technology, but to all the 20 clubs in the league itself. And then in our development strategy in the US, what we said is, let's do something which is not taking from the US, but giving. And that's why we signed this partnership with Jeff and US coach that now they are able to access to all our video and tactics in real time from to the 34,000 uh, subscribers that are part of the US coach. So yeah, the key message is, in a video we wanted to summarize what we are doing on the product, but we are here in America, in Miami, to say with Jeff, Kama, Andy, and of course Alessandro, that we are here to give something back. And Matteo, I suppose on the other side of that, you're with Kama, so really explain to us the technology and the partnership with Sofia from your point of view. Okay, sure, thank you. Well, over the last four years, um, Kama has been leading the way in uh, reshaping the relationship between data and sports, starting, of course, from the soccer industry, and then consolidating as, a, as a, one of the most complete data integration system all over the world. Um, what I want, what I, it's really important to say is that at the moment we have several requests coming from uh, staff, coaches, uh, clubs, leagues and federations as well. And we were able to satisfy all of them because our platform is able to uh, develop under four main products. That is the managing tool. The manager tool is, uh, I would say, an everyday product able to uh, plan for, for the planning of daily activities, mainly related to training sessions, for example. Then we have another product which is related to the analysis for a specific assessment of performance of both clubs and, and players. We have a, a fully developed internal scouting tool. And finally, I would say last but not least, we have a video, uh, a, a video tool that was mentioning Michael before, which is, uh, I would say, a technology enabler that allow, allow people to uh, cut and analyze videos and highlights from soccer matches in few seconds rather than hours or days. And this is how we see technology. Technology must be an enabler to make things easier and quicker. What we have done in, in the past is to, um, let's say our secret sauce, uh, the key of our successfully built products is, lies in the collaboration with top tier Italian coaches and staff. That were our uh, our um, secret research and development team. They were involved in uh, building our products and they have shaped our technologies. At the moment, uh, the reason why we're here is that technology must be somehow sh uh, shared and spread all over the world. And what we aim to do, thanks to Lega Serie A, that has always been supporting us, so thank you, is to uh, share our technology and make it available for over 30,000 coaches here in the US. Uh, so the reason why we're here is to join Lega Serie A and USC. Thank you for uh, this opportunity because we are here for the same, uh, to share the same vision.
which is to bring the Made in Italy excellence abroad, starting from here, starting from the United States. Mm -hmm. It's so exciting, isn't it, when you look at what you're doing with football and then the technology side of it and the analytics and able to combine the two. And you've actually got a video coming up later in the, in, in sure. the panel that is going to show Christian Pulisic and one of Alessandro's uh, goals that he scored in the comparison. But I suppose for you, Jeff, what does this mean that now you've got all this technology available to you through Serie A and through camera as well to access to America? Well, United Soccer Coaches is, is a proud partner, and this partnership came to us from our friends at Rome City Institute, and we're grateful for that partnership, and then we've grown. And to give this technology to coaches to be able to paint that picture from some of the best players in the world, from one of the best leagues in the world, is incredible. And so our coaches and our association, our members, will be able to, uh, that we affect our youth coaches, high school coaches, and college coaches. So now they're able to paint that picture and use this technology to advance the game. And better coaches, better players, better game. And we're seeing the Italian coaches in particular having so much success. 18 of the 20 Serie A coaches right now are Italian. We've seen how well they've done in Europe as well. So it's exciting that you have all of this wealth of knowledge available for you to be able to distribute across the states. And speaking of the states, Andy, you run everything that is to do with Serie A here stateside. What have you been working on in your main New York City office and what could we look forward to? Great. Thanks, Poppy. Um, so first of all, I feel like the luckiest guy in the world. I joined Legacera and a, a month later we had a team in each of the European finals. So that was really exciting. And then over the summer, we signed um, the top four American players or four of the top American players from the USMNT. So I feel really lucky to be able to represent um, Legacera here in the US. We're focused in four primary areas. Um, number one is audience development. So how do we get more people to watch our broadcasts on CBS? Uh, our Instagram channel doubled in size when we signed the American players. And then we just launched an email newsletter called Calcio Weekly um, to inform Americans about what's happening across um, Serra. Secondly, brand marketing. Um, we launched a new brand this summer made in Italy um, or in the fall made in Italy to really differentiate Lega Serie A from the other European leagues. Americans love Italy. Um, I'm one of the Americans who love Italy, but we just got some recent data that there are 51 million Americans that um, have an affinity for Italy. So how do we connect Calcio to Italian culture, whether it be food or fashion or technology, and Kama is a great representation of that. Um, thirdly is um, uh, commercial. So are there brands out there that want to associate themselves with Italian excellence and forming partnerships with them? And then lastly, and in some ways most importantly, um, we're very invested in the community. We partnered with um, Street Soccer USA to launch a pitch in the Bronx, and we built a media center to go along with that to teach kids about um, just media training and how to get more involved in media. And even this week while we're in Miami, we're partnering with Puma and Christian Pulisic to do an event for high school kids at the Pool 6 stomping ground. So we're really invested in the community and that's been fun to take advantage of that opportunity here in the US. There's so much that's changing and evolving all the time with football off the pitch and expanding and expanding here to the States and getting so many Serie A fans on board. But I suppose, Alessandro, football's changing so much on the pitch, as Matteo just pointed out, how much it's evolving with the analytics and everything. How have you seen it evolve over your time when you were playing and since you've stopped playing? And how much do you think it can change in the future? Well, it's changed a lot. It's changed uh, really, really a lot. Uh, we're not talking uh, only about uh, what the coaches now or the club can be assessed in terms of data of, about the players, but in terms of everything uh, and uh, into the pitch, into the medical area. Uh, the, the football, soccer evolved a lot, and this is, uh, this is part of the journey. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't regret what happened before. I was living a different era. Now, definitely in the five, ten years, uh, there's a lot of change. We can talk about a lot about what is good, what is maybe can be adjusted for sure. But yeah, there's many points where technology can give you a really good advance. Talking about what we are talking before, it's you have a lot of data now. You, have, you, you can really see a lot of things 
then there's a job of the coaches or, or the club to read it because you can put there anything but you, you need to read it in the proper way and also as a player you can have an advance in order to have a look what's going on we start on my era see some videos you know uh, but when I was starting uh, playing football we had the assistant coach that goes to see the, the, the club that we are facing two weeks later live in Milano, Rome, or whatever it was they, they were playing. Now you can see the match before you can crack, you know, the, the images and the videos of your of the player that you're going to facing, uh, what is his habits. Uh, this many opportunity to take a good advantage about about that. And that's in this, I believe, soccer, football, it's changed a lot. It's changed in a good way. I know you probably see... So Go ahead, Michael. No, Poppy, I was just thinking while Alessandro was explaining that, is that Alessandro didn't leave Calcio 20 years ago. It was only 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. the, what has changed big time is the number of cameras. So when you used to see yeah. a game in Serie A uh, 10 years ago, you used to have from 10 to 12 cameras. Nowadays, you have from 25 to 35 cameras according to the standard of the game. And other than the camera that goes on your broadcasting in TV, there is also the technical cameras, the pixel cameras that are actually tracking each player. And these kind of data are the one that then goes to the camera technology, to the metadata algorithm that elaborate the predictive data of the availability to get a pass, the, the potential to score a goal, and how this kind of data we use. And what Alessandro was saying is how to make this big data, smart data, is the job of the coach. And that's exactly why we are trying, of course, to always go back to the genius, the human genius, not only through the technology, but with people that are able to read this data. The same when you play EAFC on the video game itself, now the players, they, the video game, use the pixel -out camera to recreate through the tracking the actual move of the player on the pitch. So that's how technology can create engagement, but for the coach, is how technology can really be read and read read in the right way. Mm -hmm. It's interesting as well from a player's perspective, but I know Alessandro, you were talking about how you were doing your coaching badges. How attractive does this amount of technology make being a coach for you? Because you've got all of these things available that you can look at sports science and the analytics side of things as well. Attract a lot because you, again, you, you can really take really good numbers and good data about uh, players, opponent team, uh, and also your team. But then, you know, as far as I see the, the coaching job, it's, it's more complex. We can definitely say that between 10 years ago and now, the percent of, of this technology increased a lot in the discussion of the coaching staff, of the club, and uh, other players as well and become a percent of more high, really more high. But then you have, thanks God, you have much more. You have uh, the tactics, you have uh, the emotional part of the game, you have the, the vision of the, of, the, of the coach, you have the commitment of the players, you have uh, what you have in your heart, in your mind, and what you can perform. And that's, that's the beauty of this game because you, put together so many things that uh, uh, y you can't predict everything. You can get closer, <laughs> but you can't predict everything. Uh, with that, and talking about all the cameras and the technology that we have available, Matteo, you have actually pulled a couple of clips to show us uh, as a bit of a contrast between uh, when Alessandro was playing and the players that we're seeing now. Yeah, I think there is a deep contrast in terms of technology. But the two goals we have uh, decided to, to, to uh, show you are quite similar. The first is related to Christian Pulisic. And it's a, it's a goal of coming from this uh, season of Liga Serie A. And uh, it's a very good goal. I think it's uh, quite, quite tac uh, technical, uh, uh, difficult to, show, to shot this, the, this way. But uh, to be honest, uh, the second one is the one I prefer. <laughs> uh, it's uh, coming from the season of Liga Serie A. 1997-1998 and 
and it's of course a score by a score by Alessandro Del Piero. Now we're going to see the the goal, and it was amazing how he was able to touch the ball and to keep the ball on his on his foot and shot. Oh. Remember I don't that? know if you no, remember, remember it. Now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. I'm sure one of many goals thank that you, you remember to bring well. A good one. <laughs> uh, you should always. My favorite is still against Fiorentina. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Would you think Ali to have played in this generation with the technology that's available right now. When you look at things like that, and of what's course. Available? Yes. Not because I regret my time. But because it means that I can continue to play. You know, passion is what is the most interesting and amazing thing that can move you towards what you want. And, and for me, I start playing soccer because of my passion for the, mm -hmm. for the game. Of course, in Italy, it's, it's, ma it's not mandatory, but <laughs> <laughs> kind of. it's really like a relig religion for us, you know, talking and playing soccer everywhere. And this is how I grew up, but for me, it's, it's everything. I mm -hmm. mean, uh, now I'm, I'm involved here, I'm involved with the television. We had a couple of shots with you at CBS as well. Uh, so it's, uh, it means a lot, even now that I, I cannot play like before, you know. It makes the game so accessible, doesn't it, in so many different ways, not just for the coaches, but even for the videos that we're able to sit around together and to watch. Michele, when you're looking ahead to this partnership with Serga and Kama, what excites you most with what we can look forward to? So, you know, the technology is advancing every time, and our key element, as I said, is to watch the trend setting and learn from the other perspectives and, of course, from the other benchmarks. The point on the coach side and on the technical data is how this predictive data tomorrow will be potentially accessible to the consumers. Because today is a B2B kind of data uh, approach for the coach, for a better game, for the beautiful game. But tomorrow, even through the fantasy games, what the fans want is to have a new layer of data to manage the potential results of the player itself on their fantasy game. So we have one fantasy game domestically, which is called Fanta Calcio, and people are crazy about it as a fantasy game. We have more than 5.5 million subscribers that are actually playing every single weekend to decide the, the team in order to be on the fantasy game itself. Think about if tomorrow we integrate not only the normal uh, votes on the player itself, but even this kind of layer of data analysis on the fantasy game that then goes globally as uh, something that can be adopted by the 530 million fans that we have all over the world. And then this data can even be used by a single club like uh, Milan, Inter, Juventus to create a different engagement with their audience through their channels. So there is always a scale. We should never stop. We just need to roll up our sleeves, look forward to the next and new technology and make that available to everyone with a touch of mm -hmm. Italy all the time. Of course, always has to be a touch <laughs> of Italy. Have you been so impressed, Alessandro, with what you've seen from the Italian coaches recently? Because you've played under some of the world's greatest coaches. But when you look at how many Italians are staying in Italy and then the ones that are thriving in Europe, how does that make you feel? And with Italy really leading the way with this sort of technology? Well, you know, uh, as you say, I'm, as you mentioned, I play for, for amazing coaches during my career. Some of them are still coaching, like Ancelotti, for example. So it's a, it's a, it means a lot because as Italian, we have a, this background, how to defend, that you know, in some cases it takes in a, in a wrong way, but uh, it means a lot. Because if you're talking about data, most of the time, I don't know the exact percent of but the team that considering less goals is the one that win the league. So you still have, you, st you, need, you still need to have this kind of perception. And then coaches are, we are still producing coaches in terms of, because you are fanatic about, about tactics, about how, how can you add, you know, 1% to the team, in which way? And, uh, and uh, so the, the details and how you look at the details is very important for the Italian coaches in general. 
back in my time and still now. So technology can give you a lot of details about players, about teams, about tactics, about how a team you know, perform and score goals. Uh, and we are looking now, because I'm doing the coaching license coach now, we are also, especially in this couple of months, we are looking at the data and we have a, a special section in Cover Channel where there's a, a technology guy that is studying as a coach, by the way. You know, he's yeah. teaching you how to, to read the game. And coaches now has a, a, a technical guy that works for them. So to look at the data and to look at the videos. And this is part of the game. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, we, we see coaches during the game watching the iPad. Yeah. And they're watching, of course, <laughs> of, of something, you know, important. I don't know what, but <laughs> something important. <laughs> it's a full team, isn't it? Jeff, you were actually wondering why Alessandro didn't come and play here in the States, but now you're wondering maybe he can come and coach here with uh, you. I think he's the newest member of United Soccer Coaches. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, we got the news here. No? <laughs> <laughs> can you deal about the contract? I will take care of it. No worries. Uh, but Jeff, when you're listening to this and listening to these fine margins and everything that the Italians are doing, and especially with Kama, how much is that going to impact the soccer here in the States? Because as we all know from living here and seeing it now, it's massively on the rise, isn't it? What will this do from a tactical standpoint? Well, I think it's a great teacher of the game. And you think about coaches that are, uh, uh, are affecting the game at, at youth levels, to be able to pull up uh, data and and even tactics of defending and sh painting that picture to a 10 year old or a 12 year old and see the best players in the world and put it around an iPad right there on the training field to show and paint that picture is is a wonderful tool mm -hmm. and uh, we're, we're, we're happy to have this partnership. I hear it every single week on our CBS coverage. Italian is the home of football, the home of defending, the home of everything. So I'm very well aware uh, of everything that you've got to look forward to and with this technology behind everything. I know uh, everybody is probably also looking at this soccer ball, uh, Alessandro, that you're going to sign because I've you're going to send yeah, it off I'm in style, Yeah, we're going to sign and throw it to another stand. How far are you going <laughs> to kick this, do you think? Let's give it over to you so you can uh, sign it first of all. Yeah, I'll do it. You, you can. Yeah, let's here. There we go. Ale, don't send it that way. There is Marco right there. He has too many balls. Yeah. Wait, okay, wait, hands uh, up if you want this Marco ball from, from Alessandro. <laughs> I'm doing like this. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so I, I, I'm not watching, okay? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Dandia. Well, Alessandro, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you guys so much You're as well. Welcome. Just before uh, we let everybody go, Michele, I want to give you the final word uh, to, to wrap things up for Serie A being here at, at Soccer X in Miami. You know, I, we are here in the Soccer X. I would say that this should be the first of many um, occasion where we have to be here with the clubs, with legends like Alessandro. And, of course, the job that Andy Mitchell and the full team is doing there in New York is exactly where all the local audience can reach out to Andy and work together on a better product, a better Serie A, because I would say that Calcio is back. Calcio is back. We love that phrase on our CBS show, and it certainly is as well. We're expecting big things from the Italian teams yet again in the Champions League this season. Thank you guys so much for joining us, and thank, thank you, you everybody you. as well Grazie for listening. Mille. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, just thank before you. everybody goes, Alessandro will be uh, signing autographs over at the Serie A booth. Yep. Uh, so make sure you stop by and join us. But thanks, everyone. Ciao. <laughs>